are back in again. Good to see my friend. This is Hayes. Hayes sounds what they call me. Let's get straight into it. Michael Jackson, the making of Ghosts, in my opinion, his greatest short film he's ever done. Yes, I said it. Let's go. Six Michael Jackson set out to play. Okay, so before this, he uh, says here in the, uh, the the intro that he wanted to make something better than Thriller. I'm gonna give my well, I already gave away my opinion, but just watching, I just want, I just want whoever doesn't think this, like anybody right now who doesn't think Thriller, um, anybody that thinks that Ghost is not better than Thriller, hold that thought. Watch this and let me know if you change your mind. But uh, continue. Let's go. Action. Is this scary? Yeah. Ha! Six weeks. Are you scared yet? We wanted to do a film that's very scary, but at the same time fun, you know, where you can laugh and get scared at the same time. Laugh and get scared at the same time. Thank you, Mike. It's fun to be scared. So we wanted this to be that type of approach, the fun of being afraid. You know, it should be a roller coaster ride with peaks and valleys and all kind of emotions. Maybe we should come back later. Yeah, like when it's light out. You know, there's some pathos in this, and I insisted on it. Well, here's a guy, which is myself, that I'm playing, who he doesn't really like to hurt anyone or offend anyone, but they find him to be strange and eccentric and weird. The older people do, the grown-ups, because they're kind of bigoted, you know? Back to the circus, you freak. And do yourself a favor, okay? Don't force us to get rough with you. But when they start to challenge me, they make me territorial, really. And I start to challenge them back. And I do all of these wonderful things that is like magic. Because I'm really trying to scare this mayor who is a creep. He's really a creep. And I don't like him. You know what? Hold on. You know that song, um... What's his name? Tom Sheldon. Tom Sheldon is a cold man. Tom Sheldon is a cold man. Does he look like him? I never realized that till now. I might. I'm gonna look at look at it afterward. But Tom Sheldon is a cold man. Or Don Sheldon, Tom Sheldon, one of them two. Yeah, like I just realized that right now. But go ahead, my bad. <laughs> Just like a big movie. Shafts of light. I'm so excited. I can't stand it. <laughs> Michael and I have been That's talking for the longest That's time. That's how it should be. Doing something very unique and having the audience see something they've never seen before. So this is why we needed to hear it. This is what this is all about. You start thinking. Oh, Stanley. Don't start with me, Michael. <laughs> Michael says a kid. Okay? Show a little respect. You see these gray hairs here? <laughs> I've known Stan Winston since I was 16 years old. He did all of the effects for a film I did called The Wiz, where I played the scarecrow. In case wow. you didn't know, I'm the director. <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> all right, here we go, and action! I said to Stan, I don't want to do just another scary short film. I wanted to present something that's never been seen before. If it's an effect, then it should be something brand new. It should have a meaning. I came up with this idea of taking Michael further than we've ever seen him. You know, so I, I want you to play all the parts. You're going to dance like you've never danced before. You're going to be virtually in every shot. 
You're going to be getting up early in the morning for heavy makeup calls. You're going to be dancing in, in heavy costumes. And it was like that quick. He says, I'll do it. Just look if you want to look straight ahead. Like, bro, I just, I miss the day. Anybody that's, do anybody else miss the days of like when music videos used to drop? Like, just, just the excitement to see a music video drop, whether it was uh, VH1, uh, 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 MTV, BET, like, when a, when a music video used to drop, and then the making of, like, behind the scenes, uh, usually VH1 did those a lot, like, behind the scenes of music video, like, I miss those days, man, when the music video used to feel special, bro, when people cared about the music video, the re uh, representation of what the song was, like, oh, my God, man. But the fact that Michael put so much effort into this, like nobody else, come on, man. Nobody else was doing this work ethic. Nobody can outwork ethic Michael, bro. Like, you just can't. You can't. Look at the camera. Whatever. It feels like a rock is behind it. Well, it's be it's just above it. I play myself, of course. Welcome to Ghost. Michael plays the part of the maestro, friendly ghost. Nice people, he scares a little bit for fun. And nasty people, he scares uh, a little harder which is what we're doing to the mayor. I play the skeleton. Michael, the maestro, reaches down, pulls his clothes off, and reveals this total skeleton. Our skeleton will dance as only Michael can dance. from that skeleton that is Michael Jackson comes this eight-foot super ghoul played by Michael. Are you scared yet? <laughs> I play that fat, grotesque, ridiculous mayor. Who, who, and I say it in that way because those kind of people, you know, who are just so stubborn, they just don't see the beauty of the inside of a person. Big, big face. He's Mr. Right Wing. He's Mr. Establishment. He's Mr. If you're not like me, you're not worth And he's the guy that really, I'm sorry, none of us like. Yeah, we elected him president. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is the neck piece for the mayor. And we're going to put it on now. We're going to stretch it over Michael's head. What, is, what is it made out of? Well, it's made out of foam rubber. It's very soft, very pliable, like, you know, very much like skin. And uh, let's slip it on. It can make me into a fat, 60-year-old, funky, 50-year-old, uh, mid, mid, I guess mayor. middle American. Now, how long does it take to put this whole complete makeup on? Uh, it takes about three hours. Three hours, but they're going to do it in, like, hour today. <laughs> joking, joking. Look at it, look at it, look at the laugh when he said that. <laughs> like, uh, no, Mike. Like, the commitment to this. Like, seriously, I'm trying to really think right now. Like, legit. Was anybody else, like, really going in costume to do music videos? Like, I can't think of anybody else that's like going this deep to do music. Like I really can't. I legit rack my brain right now. I feel like Lady Gaga probably would have did it or has done it. But outside of like maybe a Lady Gaga, is there anybody else that's going this like is going this far? I really can't, I really can't think of anybody. Again, like it's just it's different, bro. It's different. Like people do this for actual movies, not a not a short film, not a music video, bro. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. You still my jacket. Is that Shauna? <laughs> my new boyfriend. Is he cute? The super ghoul transforms into ectoplasmic sludge and enters the mayor's body. We're shot. This is a scene where I do a dance where the ghost goes inside of me. His spirit compels me to move in a certain fashion. Now that's different because when I move, 
I'm fighting against what's inside of me. For instance, I say to the townspeople, I'm okay, I'm the mayor. Everything's fine. I go, I'm fine. Then something starts to happen inside of me, and I'm like fighting the whole time. And then the rhythm gets, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I just can't get over, like, oh my God. I'm gonna sound like such a, like, I'm gassing him so crazy, but. The fact that he literally changed his voice to where you can't, if you didn't know, if you did not know that was Michael Jackson, you wouldn't have thought that was Michael Jackson. Literally changed his voice and like his mannerisms and like everything. Ah, why did they just stun you, Mike, man? They just, uh, uh. My bad, go ahead. <laughs> Doing this in a fat it's suit is insane. Working with the king of pop. Oh, it, it's, it's rad. Awesome. It's really it's cool watching him dance and do all the moonwalk so stuff. Cool. And it's it's great. Is the bladder belly ready? These are all like high belly. inflation punching bag style balloons. And 16 channels of pneumatic valves, each one plumbed through a central manifold. And they're all supplied electronically with a signal from the button box, which is what we run down your leg. Right away. Michael also plays the mayor being possessed by the Super Bowl. So they're like... Which is this guy, right? Yeah. Well, looking in the mirror it takes on a psychological strangeness because seeing is sometimes believing. And when you look at this grotesque creature, you start to really believe that you're taking on the heart. You start to become the part. This is pretty ugly. Diabolical, I would say. <laughs> Who's weird now? Who's the freak now? Freaky boy, freaky boy, and cut it. You oh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you guys for thank another you. great day. Great day. <laughs> this is Christian. Christian, this is Michael Jackson. Sorry. Are you really Michael Jackson? Yeah. Yep. Just seeing that different <laughs> face, it's like an optical illusion. It plays a trick on your head. It's like. It's really weird. Even I look in the mirror and I go, God, this is so bizarre. Even though I like being the mayor. Go on the side, because I'm fat. Oh, <laughs> I'd rather be the mayor than me. I mean, not his personality. Because I love being able to do things that I don't get to do. Like, I've been ridden with my mother in a car for like 10 years. And I rode in the front seat to the house. Nobody stared at me. I can't do that anywhere else. I got out of the car and I walked around. Nobody blew their horn. You know, if I if I do that now, it's like a trail of cars following you and people waving, hey, and, and nobody looked at me and I loved it. I said, if only I could go to Disneyland like this and sit on a bench and just watch people and go on rides, it would be great. If it's uh, special effect orientated, it has to be with the best in Hollywood. It has to offer. This phrase was always, let's not leave any stone unturned. Yeah, that's really, yeah, like, if you know the story of Michael, like, anytime, like, the rare occasions where he has to, like, literally dress up in makeup and stuff to go out in public to just be a normal person. Which, again, uh, I think I talked about this before. Like, I'll be so afraid to even approach Michael. Like, <laughs> I'm such a fan. Like, I'll be so afraid just to... I don't like approaching people in general, cause I. But like, I'd be so afraid. Like I, I'm like, it's, you're not real. Like I don't even know what. Like I don't even know what to do. Like what I do. What was that? Uh, oh, what was that? Tech, uh, Tyler Hacker Knights. <laughs> like what I do with my hands. Like what I. Do? <laughs> like, what do I do? I wouldn't know what to do if I saw Michael in person. Like I probably have to say something. Like I love you, Mike, and then just run off. <laughs> but yeah. I love pioneering. That's what excites me, a new idea. 
and if we could present something that's fresh and innovative, then that's what I want to do. I don't like repeating myself at all. Everything that we're doing in it is going to be, you know, as exciting as anything we've seen in the past and breaking new ground and creating new illusions and new images. I don't even allow people to say the word video. That's taboo around here. So we say it's a short film. Really, this really has never been done before, or since, for real, for real. Originally, I said I wanted Stan Winston because it involved a lot of special effects. So I said it has to be the best in Hollywood. So I called up Michael. I said, if we can't do something that nobody's ever seen before, don't want to do it. If we can do something special, I do. There's this one effect where I kind of bash my head, and when I pick my head up, it starts to fall away. There's a top layer here of Michael laying down, and then there's a uh, middle element of some really cool looking ash in the shape of Michael. And we're actually animating movement. That is so cool. We have the dancers going up the pillars. We have them up on the walls of the house. We have them on the ceiling of the house. You see them actually walking down, walking on the ground, and then up this pillar. You know, it's the impossible shot. That is so cool, bro. hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Wow. But it was cool. I'm glad I did it. Shooting green screen is sort of like the weatherman will be in front of a green screen, and then a map will be placed behind him. This was shot on the green screen, upside down, with everyone dancing. This terrific work. A piece of magic. Michael plays the skeleton because we have the ability to performance capture an artist and take that performance of that artist and give that to a digital character. By putting the markers on his body and putting him in his performance area, we can capture the essence of that character by having him dance, move, emote, gesture. So he's, he gets to author the performance, not unlike an actor would. This skull was created from a life cast of Michael. It's hilarious because it is just like blowing by. Like I'm still, I'm still like off my rocker about him laying down and doing the whole effects of that. But then you bring in the green screen, people doing <laughs> aerobic, aerobic trying to do a whole green screen. Then you got the the motion picture thing. Like, bruh, like it just, oh my man, it just. I just wish more artists took the time. Like, the fact that this is, what, 96, 96? We have better technology now. And no one's doing anything close to this. Like, no one's doing anything close to this. Oh, man. Even the skull thing is crazy, bro. Carved down to the, the skull that was in the shape of his head. So this literally, for all intents and purposes, is the skull of Michael Jackson. <laughs> At one point in this dance, all these wonderful ghosts come out of the walls and the floors in this new ectoplasmic form. This ectoplasm is like translucent quality, almost that of a jellyfish. And this particular shot was like our, our maiden voyage into the world of ecto, which yes, took us uh, months to come up with the final concept. We're not just seeing another transparent image of a ghost. I wanted the ghost, when they form, to be solid, to be able to shoot them as dancers, as actors, have them walk on the walls and not be aware of any effects The art 
of dance is mainly interpreting the bodily movement, the sounds in the accompaniment of a composition. One moves according to the sound. I can't get I can't get old Michael like embodying this character to where he can't talk as Michael. He has to talk as the mayor. So now instead of talking like Michael, I have to talk like the mayor. Like, oh man. And cra crazy, bro. But yeah, give it that breakdown. Give it that breakdown again, Michael. I'm sorry. <laughs> Transparent image of a ghost. I wanted the ghost like, so cool, to form to be solid. That's so to be crazy. Able to shoot them as dancers as actors, have them walk on the walls and not be aware of any effects. The art of dance is mainly interpreting the bodily movement, the sounds in the accompaniment of a composition. One moves according to the sound. Take a song like Billie Jean, the bass goes do 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 do. So the body moves according to the sound and character of the instrument. Kind of do 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 this phrase was always, let's not leave any stone unturned. Let's look for choreography in the most bizarre places. It's always truly a collaboration. We sometimes communicate through videotape. He'll just put ideas down for us. We do the same for him, and it, and it works out good that way. As we go through many, many, many levels of choreography and many looks and many types of approaches, but until it's the right thing, he doesn't stop and we don't stop either. We had 12 hour days, you know, 12 hour days, five days a week, um, sometimes six days a week, and sometimes seven days a week, I think, too. But um, it all paid off. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. It's a tapestry. Yes. Get here. Get here. Michael wanted me there to take notes and to to get his ideas as they came. You bring the horns on top. Yeah. 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 All out of rhythm. Yeah. You just, it's chaotic. Yeah. 20 people here. No music here. Bum, 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 bum. Michael oversees everything, everything we do. That's my goal. It's pretty much just knowing That's what you want goal. to do and having a will of iron. I, I just feel like a proud, like a proud father. So I'm like, I don't know why, like, just seeing Michael just in his element, just being him, just like, I just feel so proud that I got, I got to live and experience the era, which was Michael Jackson. Like, I'm just so, like, I'm just so proud. Like, I don't even know, I, I don't know that sounds so wild to say, but I don't know, I just try, I feel proud right now. I don't even know what to say right now, so. Okay. There's a tremendous amount of pressure, I'm not going to lie, and make, it, make you think that it's really, really easy, because it's not. He's not easily satisfied. He's very demanding in that he doesn't allow us to settle. Michael, is it this or this? Make it clean, though. What we gotta do is all those. If we choreograph something and we think it's really strong and we think it's really cool, we'll question it. We'll say, "Is this absolutely the best you think it can be?" Yeah. anyone I've ever worked with is just striving for the unexpected and to do something that no one else has done before and does not know what the word no means. Right now, there's no way of cutting all this stuff. Like, Michael got to be, what, almost 40 here? 
Yeah, like he's just about to turn forty in like a couple years, and he's just like moving. Like I don't know, if they're gonna show him on the knees. I can't remember, but like before there was mega knees, there was Michael knees. You hear me? Like he getting down and low, even in a fat suit, he was getting low. Get low, get low. Like man, don't talk to me, man, about anybody outside of Michael, bro. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Mark I'm sure I'm gonna see things I said I should have done that shot. I knew I was right. I shouldn't have let them go. I let it go and I shouldn't have. Okay. Yeah. But it, should, it shouldn't be good. It shouldn't be good. Michael oversees everything, everything we do. He has added things, this webbing that covers the ghouls so they look even older and decayed. These look good, they're straight. They just need to be dirtier and more textured. Michael's very specific about what he wants. We try to come up with monsters who are not just monsters, but have a lot of personality and have their own individual characteristics or looks. We decided that all the different ghouls have all died at different times. We have everything from the very snooty, upper crust, uh, stiff upper lip British guy with, uh, you know, with his monocle and uh, several looks, uh, with wild hairdos, you know, all kinds of outrageous period styles that have been exaggerated. We are covering this ballroom with these phenomenal ghosts who are dancing a dance we have never seen. You know, today's cutting edge is tomorrow's classic. It's pretty much just knowing what you want to do and having a will of iron. If the whole world says no, you say yes. You ain't done enough for me. You ain't done enough for me. You are disgust me. Yeah, yeah. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope it's inspiring to a lot of people, and I hope it scares you. And I hope it makes you laugh, and I hope it makes you cry. That's all I wanted to achieve. Just some real fun entertainment. Yeah, but that was Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, the making of Ghost. Um, yeah, the way he laid it out, man. Uh, I think again, I'm not trying to downplay the what Thriller meant. I mean, it broke barriers not only for MTV but for for black artists getting on MTV. He changed the way short films, what music video, excuse me, what music videos were, making them into short films. Um, the entire with the red jacket and everything. So I'm not trying to downplay what Thriller means, but to me, when we look at every phase of the game, outside of maybe the attire, because Michael only wore like a white shirt, it was nothing spectacular. But when we talk about the dance moves, when we talk about the story, when we talk about Michael's acting, when we talk about the, uh, 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 just the setting in itself, um, and the fact that he played all these different parts, I don't, I, I can't see how you can make an argument that Ghost is not the greatest short film Michael made. The meaning behind this is so insane that he's literally, he's really giving an interpretation of how he felt and feels as being a famous uh, entertainer in the world and how throughout throughout the years, especially as he got older, how the world and society and media treated him as a monster, as wacko, Jack, like all these different names they called him, weird, different, strange, um, and how he was able to turn that into art. To me, I don't, 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 I don't even know like how else to, to bring it down, but, um, yeah, to me, this is his greatest short film he's ever done. Um, yeah, I got 
uh, make you laugh, make you cry, make you happy, make you sad. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, share all the things, other things. Ain't got to go home. Do got to get to step in. Peace. I'm broke.